gentlemen, your storyteller. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm sure you can be louder than that. Let's try that again. I said, hello, everyone. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you for the lovely welcome. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here to the Duplo Valley Theatre. My name is Laurie, and I'm your storyteller. Now, boys and girls and grown-ups too, I have a tale to tell that's just for you. It's set in a town far, far away, and all begins on a bright, sunny day. But about the weather, I mustn't go rambling and begin the story of the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Now, Hamlin was ruled by a stubborn and greedy Lord Mayor. Greedy? I'm not greedy. Just careful with me money. Good day to all. The Lord Mayor lived in Hamlin Hall with his beautiful daughter, Priscilla. Hello. And Priscilla's scruffy old pet dog, Shep. Get down, Shep. Now, once a month, the villagers made their way to Hamlin to pay the Lord Mayor the money they made from their harvest. That is until one fateful day. Just look at the time, Priscilla. Today is the day of the great harvest and still no sign of those lazy, good-for-nothing villagers. Give them time, Father. They've never been late before. But I want my money. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a very loud knock at the door. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, sire, you must help us. A terrible thing is happening in the town of Hamlin. Terrible thing? What are you talking about? Where's me money? But you're right, honourableness, sire. This terrible thing is a plague. A plague! Our harvest is ruined! Now try and calm yourself, Villager, and tell us what it is that you have seen. It's... it's an invasion of a vile and horrible creature. It's hundreds and thousands of... of... rats! Rats? Oh! Yes, indeed, my friends. The entire town had been overrun by rats. They scuttled up and down the streets, in and out of houses, frightening all of the people. Oh, oh. But there was one rat more fearsome than any of the others, the one that ruled the pack. May I introduce the meanest, the nastiest, the legendary King Rat! Boo! Boo all you like, it won't change a thing, for I am a rat. A great rat, the king. My rats, they bring panic, chaos and fear, and the root of our evil will soon become clear. <laughs> the rats caused havoc in the town, and day after day, although many tried, no one could get rid of those pesky creatures. Father, there are rats everywhere. You have to do something. <laughs> Yes, it's all well and good saying I have to do something, but do what? Time flew by. As Priscilla and her father tried desperately to think of a plan, and eventually... By Jove, I've got it. I'll offer a reward. A reward? Yes, of course. Now, why ever didn't I think of that before? Oh, me? Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, how exciting. Oh, I've always wanted to do this. <clears throat> ah. Hear ye, hear ye, the Lord Mayor of Hamlin hereby offers the reward of one bag of gold coins and... Wait, the hand of his daughter Priscilla in marriage? Now, hang on a minute. It's tradition, dear. Go with it. Uh, carry on. Oh, uh, uh, yes, uh... To the person who will rid this town of Hamlin from its terrible plague of rats. Oh no, not again. <sighs> no man will rid this town of rats, nor will any mangy cats. My rats will rule, just what you'll see, and Mayor of Hamlin, then I'll be. <laughs> Telling of the mayor's reward, and on the outskirts of town, it reached a cosy little B&B owned by a young musician by the name of Elvis. Thank you very much. Now Elvis was a great musician who spent many days composing tunes on his pipes, and when oh, he excuse me, I don't play the pipes, oh. only the guitar. Oh well, the guitar then. 
And when he heard of the mayor's report, he immediately began the long walk to Hamlin Hall. Uh, good day to you, Mr. Mayor, sir. I've come to claim my reward. Reward? But the town is still full of rats. What's your name, boy? It's Elvis, Dad. The talented musician from the other side of town. I've never seen you in Hamlin before. Ah, well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, uh -huh. well, you know it. Well, Mr. Mayor, sir, I'm here to rid your town of rats, and then I'll be back to claim my reward. My hero. <coughs> and how exactly are you going to do that? I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, sir. That's a secret. But I guarantee that by sunset tomorrow, Hamlin will be a rat-free zone. Very well. If it is as you say, then I'll meet you here at sunset tomorrow and you may <clears throat> claim your reward. Thank you very much. <laughs> Elvis returned home very happy indeed, but he was unaware that the Lord Mayor had no intention of paying the reward and that all his efforts were to be in vain. As the next day dawned, Elvis made his way into the deserted town of Hamlin. scare me with talk of secrets I'll not flee. The rats will rule in Hamlin Town from now until the sun goes down. Yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Rat, sir, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> Father, please, if 
If only you would give her with my hand in marriage, and then we could all live happily ever after. What do you think, boys and girls? Should I marry Elvis? Yes! Oh, for goodness sake, stop this nonsense. You may have the hand of my daughter in marriage, and I hope that you live happily ever after. And as Elvis stopped playing his bewitching music, all the pets in Hamlin returned to their rightful owners, and they did indeed all live happily ever after. Lovely! Did you all enjoy the story? Yeah. Wonderful! We haven't quite finished yet, because after a very long engagement, Elvis and Priscilla finally got married in a little white chapel in downtown Las Vegas! And now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you as it's nearly Christmas, live here for one night only at the Duplo Valley Theatre, Legoland Winter Resort, Elvis is making a Enjoy the rest of your day here at Legoland Resort.